top tip number 10. Um, I'm going to revise how to do calculations between worksheets and then I'm going to create a line chart between columns which are not contiguous i.e. they're not next to one another and this makes life more difficult. Now as I in the last video I did um, January but I will do February, March and April to revise what we've already done and then continue with the charts. I come here and I put equals there and then I will go back to my January to December. Remembering it's February, I will go back to February which is 11. Okay, and then I will multiply it which is shift and 8 times 50 and press it goes back to the salaries worksheet I just press enter and if by magic up it comes now what I would do because regardless um, of what type of salesperson you are you get 50 pounds per car sold I can just replicate this okay now for my total I just add it up, go to my sigma over here and this will give me the total income, gross income for February. Now I would do the same for March and April. I go into bonus, press enter, remember it's March, go back to there, click on March here Do my calculation which is shift and 8 and it's £50 per car, it goes back automatically, press enter. I can then replicate this. I can then do my total for March. I can go up to my sigma, click on here and drag it down. And finally for April I will do the same thing press enter, go back to sales January to December, click on April, shift and 8 and 50, press enter. And immediately I've got the bonus. To get the total, I just add the two together. And drag down. So I've got all my totals for January to April. Now what I need to do is I need to highlight the specific columns I need to be able to create my chart. Now for this I just need the first name and last name and the total for January, February, March and April and then we'll be able to have an overview of the salaries, the gross salaries of all the salespeople. So what I will do is I will left click and just drag over the first two here. Now then, because it the, ne the col next column I need isn't exactly next door to these two. If I press Control and go to January, left click and just dra drag it down to highlight it. Let go of everything. Go over and put my mouse over February. Press Control, left click and drag down. I then go to March, control, left click and drag down. I then go to April, control, left click and drag down. I will then go to insert. 
Now for this I am get the chart I'm going to do is a line chart and I'm going to do a stat line chart which means that I can have a look at them. Now I'll just move this over here and I think it would be better if we knew what the values were. So if I choose this one here immediately the salary gross salaries appear okay the okay now <clears throat> this i don't think this actually gives me enough information so i'm going up to quick layout and i'm going to choose this one because immediately you find that all the th things come up Okay, let's see if we can find another one which, no, I think I'll leave it at that. There we are, I've gone back to that. Right, the chart title I can do, I will put salaries. January to April twenty sixteen. Uh, just remove chart title. And on the axis here I will put right individual. salaries and I'll just get rid of what I want there and delete access title if I get that out of the way you can all see exactly how much everybody has for the general total you've got the name of the individual employee and straight above the, you've got the amounts that they have earned I think that looks very clever, especially as we've been dealing with numbers which aren't next door to one another. Thank you.